Yeah. Hi guys, so as you can probably hear in my voice, I have strep throat pretty badly and um, I'm doing this thing called social distancing. It seems to be a new fad these days, but I'm quarantining myself in my apartment until I get better. So uh, for the rest of my video, Aaron will be my voice. So thank you so much, Aaron. Hi, I'm Aaron. And our group name for this video, or her group name at least, is Average Joe's LLC, and the company they picked for the project is AMS Print and Mail Specialists. They're located out of Blaine, Washington. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about AMS. Today we'll be covering the history of the company and the products and services that they offer. Hannah will go over AMS's social media presence and their communication methods. Henry will cover the results of our interview, as well as our recommendations for AMS. Lastly, Emily will cover our successes and challenges that we faced as a group. So the owner of AMS is this guy, Dave Freeman. A little bit of background about Dave, he actually graduated from Western in 1985 with a communication studies degree, so shout out for the comm department. At two years later, he went on to open AMS in 1987. AMS started as a small mailing company that focused on the need for shipping across the Canadian border. Blaine has high shipping and mailing traffic, as there are many companies, including Amazon, that don't ship directly into Canada. Later on, Dave saw a need to expand beyond mailing and adapted his warehouse to include digital printing as well. This is AMS's mission statement. It is easily located on both the AMS website and their Facebook page. I think it really shows that AMS is dedicated to their goals of serving clients through their transparency and visibility of their mission statement on their online platforms. AMS provides three main services, mailing, commercial printing, and label manufacturing. They also do lots of other smaller things such as folding, gluing, and poly wrapping. During our tour of AMS, we got to see all their machines at work, and it was very interesting to see their giant printers and label makers and the poly wrapping with 100% biodegradable plastic. So this video here is just a video of the labeled printing machine that we took during our tour. One thing that Dave mentioned, which was kind of interesting, was that 60% of all of their labels that they make are for marijuana products for dispensaries. He said it's a growing industry and that there's a high demand for package labeling. With a machine like this, every single label can be customized in shape, color, material, etc. This here is just one of the massive printers at AMS. One of the big printing orders that they get are jury summons, so AMS AMS prints jury summons for entire counties in multiple states, and they print these all year long. On this side, the picture on the left, is the inside of one of the printers. If you take a look at the bottom section, you can see the ink colors. It's the same cartridge colors that everyday printers have. Black, yellow, magenta, cyan, but they use a ton of it, so it comes in jugs instead of cartridges. The tiny cartridge on the right is a fifth customizable color. The example Dave gave for this is like how Coke has a very specific shade of red. So if they have a big print order, they might send a specific color for their order. The picture on the right is just another picture of the label machine. Dave gave me some really cool samples of labels that he has done recently, and I would love to pass them around. However, that is how you get coronavirus or strep throat. That's all for our section. I believe Hannah's next for part two. Thank you for watching.